or what's the one in Wisconsin? I forget what the Wisconsin one is. It's not Madison, Milwaukee. I might go to Indianapolis or Milwaukee, uh, but beyond that, probably not. Uh, I have to save money to move out. I'm graduating college in a couple of weeks here, and I'm trying to move to like Boston. This is a pretty cool team. Uh, they have very little for you, Veltal, though. I'll say that much. And... Do I want a Dynamax Veltal here? Yeah, I, they have like almost nothing for you, Veltal Thunderous. I'll go with that. I'm going to bring the Kamoa because I never get to bring the Kamoa in the Zacian. <laughs> Oh, modest Persian. I thought it was a modestation. Can you drop out a Master Ball? No. Once you make it in a Master Ball, you can't fall out. Okay. So do they want to go for the... Uh I, I don't know if they want to go for the um, Trick Room here. I don't, they don't really get much out of Trick Room on this team. I think here I'll just Snarl. And this is going to sound weird, but I am actually going to Rain Dance just to reduce damage from the possible Flare Blitz they could be going for with the uh, Incinera, but they're probably just going to fake out. Yeah. Oh, who'd it miss? Please don't be the Mimikyu. Alright, cool. I hit the Mimikyu. Yeah, they don't really get too much out of Trick Room here, so I don't know why they go for it. Yep, there it is. Um, yeah, not terribly concerned. I'm actually going to get in the Kamoo and let's go for a T-Bolt onto you. I just don't want to get play roughed on my Eveltal. If I get play roughed on anything, I prefer it to be the Kamoo. Even though it one shot, I just prefer that. <laughs> All right, decent damage there. I'm gonna get my berry though. So, Thunderous should live pretty much anything from this uh, Mimikyu. And there's the taunt, okay. I'm cool with that. A little bit more damage there. Um, Let me think, taunt and trick room are all we've seen so far. I'm going to scout for play rough, but if they don't have play rough, they're actually in, like, really big trouble here. Like, they're in big trouble if they don't have it. Oh, I can't rain dance. I'm going to go Evolt on now. <coughs> but play rough is saying that, like, you can sometimes drop on Mimikyu. It's understandable if you do, you know? Parting shot. Okay. I don't think they have play rough. They don't have play rough. They just don't. Okay. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. Um, I might not be able to touch this thing, but body press into Incin doesn't sound like a bad idea. And uh, I can just Oblivion wing you. Yeah, no. Uh, if they're going for taunt, they don't have play rough because play rough was objectively the correct play. Dude, I also have breaking swipe here. That'd be fun that'd be funny if it actually did something in this game. Uh, this should do like thirty percent. Yeah, about. There's the taunt. Don't mind it at all.
Okay. How many turns are left of Trick Room? There's one turn left of Trick Room, which means I do have a correct play. I'm going to go Zacian here, and I'm just going to Dynamax my Eveltal. And go for the Airstream. And there's not much they can do about that. Um, Reshiram really, really struggles versus uh, Assault Vest Eveltal. Like, it, it just does nothing versus it. Maybe they have, like, Sunny Day on the Mimikyu. Maybe that's why they couldn't use Play Rough. But even then, they don't take... They don't they don't deal much. And there's no way they went for... There's no way they deal, like, damage to Myzation here. Like, because they, they shouldn't go for a Fire move into a Kamoa. And they shouldn't go for a Fairy move. Or they shouldn't go for a Dragon move into a Fairy. And yeah, they're just going to Rage Quit there. Uh, let's see if they actually went for the Max Dragon move. I'm going to say they went for the Max Dragon move. And that's why they, they Rage Quit. Let's see. We're finding out. We're playing detective here. Place your bets. Was it the dragon move or was it a legitimate uh, disconnect? I think that if they... If they went for like some kind of neutral play here... That was just like an actual disconnect, but if they went for a dragon move into the Kamoa and it's a Zacian now, that was definitely a... Yeah, no, that was a rage quit. That, that was 100% a rage quit. Yeah, no, because their entire turn's wasted there. Okay, cool. Check it out, guys. I got a, I got a free YouTube video out of this. I made a player rage quit. <laughs> YouTube eats that sort of thing up, you know? Rage quit compilation. Rage in Pokemon is very rare to find unless it's like in Showdown chat. And even then, no one, I, I, I hardly experience like Showdown Rage. Like the most you get is like just a little bit of salt. Like I should have landed that. And then you're like, yeah, my bad. Like, you know, I got really lucky. And then they go, and then they literally just go like, yeah, uh, appreciate it. You know, good, good game. Good game anyways. Because when you play Pokemon, you fully expect bad things to happen. <laughs> Uh, and even, like, with Smash Brothers, like, when you watch things, there's no, like, official Smash Bros. tournaments. So someone's bound to rage on stage. If you rage on stage in Pokemon, you just don't get to come back, I think. I think that they might actually just kick you out with how Nintendo runs things or how TPCI runs things. So you just don't see rage in the Pokemon community visibly. You'll probably see it with a streamer if they're having, like, a really bad day. But, like, you'll never see, like, it, it to the same level as other competitive games. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's continue battling. Congrats on Smash X Pokemon Turn. Are you going to any regionals? I don't think so. Uh, graduating from college this semester, so... Uh, I have to focus on finding a job and saving money and uh, getting out of the house, so uh, I probably won't have time or funds to do so. I'll probably, you know, I'm probably going to go to, like, the closer ones, like uh, Milwaukee and Indianapolis, but that's about it. But, like, even then, those are maybes. So looking at the team, looking at the team that we're facing here, that's Zacian, that's Kyogre. Uh, and they, they also have screens, so... Kingdra is kind of interesting. I think I get a ton out of Yveltal in this game, especially, especially if they're not prepared for it. Actually, no, you know what I get more out of? Blastoise. I'm going to bring Yveltal in the back because it's going to be nice and I'm going to bring Zacian. I think Blastoise is going to go crazy here. And we have our first redemption of a Nene in like a month. I'm really sore. My apologies. <laughs> that was like my worst performance yet. My apologies to all, all of my dedicated fans who came for the Nene. Thanks for the follow, B Nick and Brian. 
Looks like they're just going to go for screens here. Honestly, like, there's no reason not to Eerie Impulse your boy. And uh, just cannonade the Grim Snarl. Come for the Moxie, stay for the Nene. That's like, that's the thesis of the channel. Some people are like, Moxie, the thesis of your channel is using cool Pokemon and building novel teams. And I'm like, nah. Being a goof. It's being a goof. Would a serious Pokemon player own a straw hat? This is my drinking hat. Whenever it's sunny outside, I, I put on the hat. This is the front yard beer hat. Tiger's gonna use Protect. Oh, that's funny. Bug catcher hat, true. Light screen? Yeah, you're still taking like 900% from this, but yeah, nice play. It's times like this, I wish I still had the Break Break uh, Thunderous. That was like one of the cleanest things I've ever ran. Okay, maybe not 900%, but like 900-ish. 900-ish. Also, there's no chance you're staying in with the Kyogre, so I'm just going to go ahead and cannonade into that this turn and go for a Thunder Wave. Go ahead, make your defensive switch. I don't care. Victor, how you doing? You don't stay in after seeing, after seeing Eerie Impulse, right? You don't stay in after that. Yep. Got him. Is it the Zacian? It's the Zacian. Okay, so Zacian has forfeited its right to live. And its right to be fast. And it's right to play the game. Oh, okay. Let's see if it uh let's see if I get fully paralyzed here. Let's kinda determine. Nope, okay, no, Zacian has been forfeited. And thank you for the follow, Velociraptor. It is now in range of a Thunderbolt and I win. And I, I win. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, why not just cannonade here? Today's my birthday. I thought it'd be a dope time to pop in. Hey, happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Been a while. Super busy with school. Haven't been able to keep up with VGC, but it's restricted, so I'm less interested naturally. Understandable. Understandable, understandable. Iron ball wave incense man i just want to grill and just like that i'm gonna eerie impulse your kyogre and the game's over i think eerie impulse is one of my favorite moves ever um in 2018, Kamoa was really, really popular for a minute. Hey! Another Rage Quit! Dude, that's two in a row. Let's awesome. go. Something about Root Beer. Uh, I'll say it after I pick my Pokemon. Okay. It is games like this that I regret picking up this game. That is a, that is, that is a, that, that's a, that's uh that's, that's Kyurem. Uh, and I don't like Kyurem. I think Kyurem's a, a rude Pokemon to use. However, Blastoise is funnily enough, thank you for the resub biscuit, appreciate you. Blastoise is funnily enough not bad in this matchup. It's not. And anyone who says it is, is a stinky liar. I'm also going to drop the Veltal for Incineroar here. So Eerie Impulse was good because Kamoa was good. And Kamoa always ran soundproof. So Snarl was standard on Mega Manectric. Uh, but I was one of the first people to point out that Eerie Impulse was a better alternative to it. Which didn't deal damage, but stopped Kamoa from getting plus... Um, from getting plus two in special attack. Or plus one in special attack, and then just got, you know, minus one. Dang, thank you for the follow. And welcome to the chat.
So we've ran into an issue. Wait, that's not psychic terrain. That's that's not psychic terrain. Uh, I can. I'm pretty sure they're just gonna follow me, but I can attempt the eerie impulse. Do I do it? I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna go into Incineroar because I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna get ice moved. Is it fake out in Didi? It's got to be fake out in DD, right? That's the IC team from last month that Aaron tried out? Oh. Okay, I get it now. I get it. MySpace, how you doing? Okay, so if they go for the ice move, I'm fine. I just have to get rid of the Ndidi and then I can Eerie Impulse and win. If I recall, one of the few things that this thing doesn't beat, Kiram, with any coverage move, is water Pokemon. Especially special defensive ones. Busy, busy, busy. How about you? I'm busy, 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 too. Yep, there it is. Hailstorm. Cool, we did it. We kept Incineroar. Wow, that, that did a lot. That, uh, that did a lot. Okay. Maybe in DD with Cannonade, the initial damage in Hail will go down. No, it's not. No, no, it is not. Okay, and it's Goggles. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I'm going to strike it here. And that's because I want to get a speed drop on this guy. A little bit risky, but I'm going to send in the Thunderous on what I assume to be an Earth Power. Typo, how you doing? That's fine, you go down this turn anyways. Let's go! Okay! That's what I want. And now you go down to the cannonade. And the, the curum should be slow. Like forever. Goodbye. That was not very gamer. I'm going to strike it again in case something switches in. That didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work how I wanted it to. I'm going to go into Incineroar. Okay, I thought that would uh, I thought that would do it. Please hailstorm me again. I know that Incineroar still doesn't take it well, but that'd be better. Yeah, he's like, I'm not getting your impulse. You're getting hailstorm, stinky. There it is. Nice. You know what's funny? Uh, I can parting shot this Kiram now. Well, it depends. I mean, like, it, it depends what they switch in. Low base power max strike, low key, one of the best moves in the game.
Okay. What's pretty awesome is even if Zacian comes in here. Oh, it's Reginald Alecki. Oh, good heavens, it's Reginald Alecki! I don't believe Blastoise is in any trouble here. I'm just going to Water Spout for damage. Because we still have Hail and we still have Cannonade. So it's in my best interest just to fake out here. That's fine. Blizzard? Okay. Jeez, that chunked me, dude. Okay. Hail. Cannonade. And this thing's almost gone. I'm gonna go Zashi in here. It's pretty safe. Uh, I definitely think I just go for Behemoth Blade into the the Regieleki because regardless of if the Zacian comes out, that's still gonna be like really good. Yeah. Um, crap. Do I still have one more turn of Cannonade? That actually informs my turn quite a bit. I don't. I don't have one more turn of Cannonade. I'm crying. I'm crying so hard right now. Let me Water Spout. Man, I don't want to Behemoth Blade this thing. Man, I didn't want to Behemoth Blade this thing. But the game forced my hand. Please live. Okay. I could Ice Beamed. Now it's a single target Water Spout, which, you know, should deal some damage, but... <laughs> Could be better. I'm in torrent range, so that's pretty good. Yeah, let's go torrent water spout. Shout out to torrent water spout, guys. Okay. Um. What what do I do? What it do? I think I hand over the uh, Blastoise. Hmm. Do I hand over the Blastoise? Okay. I think I Ice Beam here. The KO. And I protect here. And if they miss their Electroweb, I can win, I think. Alright, miss the Blastoise. No, that's fine. Uh, I can still win. It involves more full paras. It involves more fair, uh, full paras than I'd like, but... But yeah. Okay. Um. My best interest to do this. Dang it. Okay. You know what? I'm cool with that. You just KO'd yourself. No, you didn't. What? Well, that wasn't great. 
Uh, I can still win, but I still need the full para. Still 100% need the full para to win. Velociraptor, thank you. Thunderous miss, or miss the Thunderous. That's kind of great. Can you uh, not move, Zacian? 30% chance, 30% chance, 30% chance. Okay, it, it moved, it moved. Maybe I just live. I am quite the bulky lad. No, I don't. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't live that. I don't. Is there an out here? I think not. I'm just going to Thunderbolt you and hope for the best. Did he just Electroweb me? That could unironically lose him the game if he gets fully parried. No? Okay. I was going to say, you should always wild charge there. That was risky. Alright, good game. How's everyone doing today, by the way? I feel like I haven't asked you guys that on games this yet. season. Rank 3000 doesn't feel right. Okay. Uh, this is a team that, again, really hates Thunderous. And I'm thinking here... I... Mm, is it support or not? That's that's the question. Is it support Thunderous or not? I think I lead off Thunderous Blastoise. I definitely have... Uh, I have to bring the Zacian, and I'm going to bring the Evaltol. All right, let's do it. Whew. So tomorrow I'm actually presenting the research that I did um, over the past two years at a conference in Chicago. I get out of my classes for it. What is it on? Uh, fabrication of silicon nanoparticles for optical trapping. Oh, that's the wrong screen. All right, Grimmsnarl Dialga. Um, feel pretty good about this. I literally just... I mean, unless it's like Iron Ball Grimmsnarl, then it'll be kind of annoying. Uh, what do I want to do here? Here's what I'll do. I'll go for the Eerie Impulse on you. And I'll actually just fake out this Grimmsnarl. Sounds like you're doing AC work. I mean, it's, it's just physics. All right, there's the withdraw. Into Rillaboom. Hey, thanks for the bits, Victor. Watch it be a jack button. Ah, there goes your special attack stat, Rillaboom. I'm really sad it switched out. But this is an excuse to just hit it with a Thunder Wave. Not like I'm going to do anything else. Go right into my Zacian.
Dude, Thunderous is just like me, for real. He's got back pain, too. <laughs> LOL Physics, you lost me when you said you were researching. So in English or Pokemon, uh, or in English or Pokemon terms, what was your research about? Uh, Magnet Rise. We're making Magnet Rise, but in real life, but instead of magnets, it's Photon Geyser. Gun of Honchkrow has ever been good in VGC? As far as I know, no, but it did see a little bit of usage in BDSP, and that was it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So time travel. Sure. <laughs> sure, yeah, that. Alright, let's just get some uh, damage. I should one-shot. No, I'm just going to double into it to be safe. There's the Reflect. I'm still just going to Eerie Impulse you, dude. Yeah, I actually had an old team in... Um, in... Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. For VGC 2018, I did use Honchkrow. It was a very meticulously made Honchkrow spread. Which could technically have been optimized. I wasn't good at making spreads back then. But I did anyways, like, a lot of my spreads were slightly suboptimal. Um, but yeah, uh, I op if I were to optimize it, I think that Honchkrow team would have actually gone crazy for the rest of the series. It was Parish Song too, that was the fun part. Okay. So right here I'm gonna get in my Eveltal. And I'll just protect. I'm kind of expecting uh, a max quake into the Zacian, but you know, I, if I get max dragoned into my um, <laughs> into my thunderous, that wouldn't be great. Yeah, sword and shield definitely helped a ton with the accessibility with playing Pokemon. Okay, um, if you max Quakes, I'm kind of cool with that, because I'm going to keep my Sasha in regardless, and then I'll just be able to Snarl it next turn. I'm excited to see how much they optimize creating Pokemon in Gen 9. They've been, like, getting better and better each gen. Yeah, they definitely doubled into the, <laughs> into the, uh... Oh, that sucks. I was going to say, they definitely doubled into the Thunderous slot with uh, that Grassy Glide play. So, I can just Snarl now. I can just Snarl. Uh, I'm going to sub up. Dylan meets World. Thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, no, I don't think they can win at this point. The Grassy Glide again. Pretty sure I live whatever the Dialga wants to go for after the Snarl here.
Eevees are hard to train though. It's the only reason I couldn't play very much because it was so uh, it was so precise. Yeah, it can be kind of annoying. All right, I don't like that you def that you like drop my stat there, but I guess I can live with it. Who do I have in the back? I have Thunderous and Blastoise still, right? Yeah, no, I just gotta I just gotta deal with this, um just gotta deal with this uh Dialgan, I'm good. Also I'm gonna get like all of my health back by Oblivion winging this Rillaboom. And uh we'll just go for the play rough here. It's at minus one, but I think we're still gonna do like forty percent ish. Because uh Zacian's a little broken. No, I'm gonna say 30%. Dialg has actually got some decent defenses. Uh, there's the withdraw. Probably just gonna be Zacian. That's fine. I still get a little bit of health back. And I'm more than likely keeping my sub. Nice, like 30%. That was a crit too. <laughs> that had to be a crit, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I should be able to KO the Zacian now with a Sucker Punch into a Behemoth Blade. And it's fully paralyzed. My guy's not having a good game. My guy's not having a good game today. Yeah, I'm just going to deal with that now. Let me uh, Sucker Punch you and Behemoth Blade you. You know what I think is one of my favorite VGC mons that like you had to EV really particularly if you wanted to use it at its highest potential? I think Nihiligo was probably one of those Pokemon that was just super, super fun to get, like, really, really, like, meticulous with, like, super particular spreads. Yeah, this Dialga, uh, he's having a bad day. I'm gonna Sucker Punch you. Because even if you go Rillaboom or Protect here, like, I still get damage. Yeah, RNG's not on this guy's side today. By the way, I may or may not stream tomorrow. It depends what time I get back from the event. Yep. Probably just went for a substitute. That's fine. You're still taking too much damage from this. And I basically just have to get the uh, Blastoise in. Foot. Thank you for the follow. Full para, check it out. No? Okay, they actually get the earth power off. Nice. Alright. Um You know what? I'm just gonna dark pulse you. I'm not in range to get KO'd. By a behemoth blade, I think. I'm pretty bulky. Go for the Behemoth Blade. Uh, my Zacian should live that. We got a lot of HP. No, it doesn't live that. Was that a crit? No. Just a high roll, I guess. Anyways, I still get the damage off here that I need. Uh, they pretty much just lose to the existence of the Blastoise in the back. Blizzard and you miss. Thank you. Light screen's gone. Blastoise comes in.
And uh, regardless of what they do, I believe they lose the Zacian at the end of this turn. Because I just snarl here. And go for my cannonade. I suppose the Dialga could switch into a Rillaboom, but they still take a lot behind the Protect. And they'd still have to double into the Blastoise next turn to KO it, so I can just attack the Zacian. I hope Gen 9 uses the Grit Dust system for Legends. Um, I don't know. I don't know. As long as we keep EVs, I'm fine with it. If we if we lose IVs in exchange for Grit Dust, I'm cool with that. As long as it's like a similar format. It did protect, but it's still going to be taking a lot here. There's the Snarl. And uh, the damage from Cannonade actually outpaces the health from Grassy Terrain, if you didn't know. Because Grassy Train's like 1 8th and Cannonade's 1 6th. So it just goes down. Nice. EVs are dope. IVs are much harder to work on. Uh, and hurt people getting into the comp. Uh, we would need EVs for sure, but IVs getting replaced with Grit Dust is way better. As long as we can undo the Grit Dust and get it to zero, I'm cool with that. Or actually, you know what? Make it so it defaults to zero. When you catch something in the wild, default all of their IVs to zero unless you grit dust them. I'd be cool with that, because then it's very easy to get zero speed mons. Yeah, uh, I think I just win here. One sixteenth, that's what it is. Alright, that's fine. I'm killing with the Dialga anyways. Nice. Okay, that's definitely game. I felt like this was a really, really long one. Like, we were playing footsies for a while. Let's see if he goes for a Grassy Glide here, or if they just forfeit. Nope, just forfeit. Nice! So, yep, yeah, that was a pretty long one. That was a pretty long one, but I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream there. I am pretty tired tonight, so we're going to raid one of our buddies.